John Edwards fesses up to the affair. There she is, Miss Hunter. And there he is with his beautiful wife. The Inquirer exposes it. There he is in a loving relationship with his wife. And there's the mistress, plain director. And there's his wife with cancer running for VP with Carrie. Endorsing Barack. And Edwards put his input on the Monica Lewinsky scandal. And basically denounced what was happening. And the fact of the matter is, uh, you couldn't pay me a lot of money to go to bed with Bill Clinton. But if you ask most men, they say they will, um... Go to bed with them and swallow to get out of a predicament of slavery on their jobs. And Edwards here is in Katrina. And the campaign manager feels betrayed. There he is with his lovely family. And back again. So, let's analyze this a little bit more. Sexual addictions are the most universal within our species because the issues of power are tied so directly to the learning of sexuality within the human structure. Sexuality is an issues of power. We're created within our species to complement each other. That is why each human being who is sexually out of control actually has issues of power in which he or she is out of control with his or her own power. At heart, they are identical. A person cannot be in his or her own power center and be sexually out of control or dominated by the sexual energy current. These cannot exist simultaneously. That is the dynamic behind sexual addiction. The experience of addictive sexual attraction is a signal to the exper experimenter that in the moment he or she is experiencing powerlessness and is desiring to feed upon a weaker soul. This is the dynamic beneath all addictions. The desire to prey upon a soul that is more shattered than oneself. This is as ugly to look at as it is to experience, but it is the central core of negativity within our species. species. Sex without reverence, like business without reverence, and politics without reverence, and any activity that is done without reverence, reflects the same thing. One soul preying upon another weaker soul. The way out of a sexual addiction, therefore, is to remind yourself when you feel that attraction, that you are, in the moment, powerless and desiring to prey upon a soul that is weaker than oneself. In other words, when you are fearing, excuse me, when you are feeling the draw of a sexual addiction, consider simultaneously that you are in a mode of powerlessness that causes a desire to use others to surface within you. The desire feels like a sexual attraction. Remind yourself clearly of what it is that is being ignited in you. That does not mean that you do not physically feel a connection or an attraction. But underneath it, what causes you to want to act as a different dynamic, one of powerlessness. That basically came from this book, The Seat of the Soul, which I highly recommend individuals read because this book is very uh, informative. Humans cannot exist without light. Light cannot exist without humans. Because the wave of love. Fear now is a wave that goes up and down as love wave is more even. Quantum physics.